Hello there guys, good afternoon. Um, so we just want to take five minutes of your time to um, kind of introduce who we are. A lot of people have been talking about what the Holness and Forward movement is um, and a lot of people have been asking us some questions and we just wanted to take the opportunity to um, work with Hannah from Nub News this afternoon to kind of introduce the momentum, talk about who we are, what we want to do, um, iron out some of the crinkles and allay some of your fears. So um, Hollis and Ford started off the back of what um, nearly 600 people felt in a recent petition against the um, current incumbents of Holland Town Council. They wanted some colour, they wanted some progression and they wanted some movement into their community, their high street and surrounding areas. So um, after many of us, three of us here, have resigned from the council off of the back of allegations that you all know about, so we won't go into that too much, we decided that now was the time to um, announce who we are and announce the positive things that we intend to do. So um, the majority of what we're going to do is all about um, increasing the town, really, making it a better place, making it more colourful, more vibrant, more diverse, getting more and more people into the area and just seeing what people want. So, so much of what people have said for a very long time the town council haven't necessarily listened to. So I was involved with council for a few years, um, a lot of the projects and things that I wanted for off the back of what the community asked for were stumped and stymied, so now is the time to move forward. So I think everyone agreed that this is not a political group, this is not a religious group, this has no sort of aspirations of um, control or power, it's just about networking and working with everybody in the community all the different health groups and health groups to kind of like bottom out what we want to do and what they want to do and see how the community wants to go forward. Bringing together, celebrating, celebrating all the voluntary groups, celebrating the fact that we've got so much going on. I think one of the big things about this is the fact that through COVID, especially we've seen people come to light, such as say for instance, Abba Ren and her um, WhatsApp group, you know, everyone's Everyone's out there doing things, just, just walking the dog for the neighbour, doing a bit of shopping for the neighbours, um, picking up prescriptions. Yeah. And, and these are people these, these are the people that we actually have in our community that no one's actually bothered to say thank you to. And I know they're not doing it for a thanks, but they should be recognised for the efforts that they put in. Um, speaking for myself and Nath, growing up as a couple of reprobates, it's actually those people in the community that brought us to who we are today. It's not a case of, it's not a case of we were brought up I mean, we weren't brought up all right, I suppose. Dad did a good job, but at the same time, um, at the same time, we got taken in under people's wings, and Nathan managed to make a rugby career out of what he was doing. I managed to make a career out of my apprenticeship with a rugby player as well. So, these networks that we have in our town need to be supported, need to be signposted, and we, we genuinely need to just give give celebration to the fact that they are there. You know, don't let them dwindle in sight. Don't let them, you know, suffer in silence when everyone can pull together and get signposted too. I think that's a big thing, isn't it? Absolutely, I think it's this, the community spirit, isn't it? Bringing back the community spirit that everybody's got, everybody seems to be having a voice, but we want to bring them all together and bring some colour and some vibrancy and some excitement back to Honiton. Yeah, and it's working with um, it's working with people like the Chamber of Commerce and stuff like yeah. that, and, and working with businesses, so it's not just all about money, it's not just all about uh, pretense and show, it's actually about getting to the grassroots of it and, cleaning a war memorial with the scouts or picking up some dog mark, mark up at the Millennium Green and stuff like that. It's about actually concerned members of the community that want to be treated as members of the community as opposed to you are just the bracket of taxpayers. There are too many people now that feel that they are not taxpayers, although they are. The actual general encompassing group, they are a community, a very, very strong, um, a, a, you know, vibrant and really community full of a lot of good work and we just want to kind of centralise that and see if we can act as a crucible towards that to make things better for the good. Absolutely, linking groups together as well so you know people can link together and use each other's facilities not just struggle with one facility we can you know you can say look you've got that you've got that why don't we swap for the week and see what we can do there you know let's bring some bring some fun back to the town. Yeah the town deserves better and the more it's getting is it, um, receiving at the moment and I think together moving forward together we can reach that goal and make this town a lot yeah, better. Definitely. Yeah. Like sense. Jason said, with the, with the COVID thing, certainly after we've reopened after COVID, we're mm. using so many more local, locally working together. 
um, pretty much everything, getting everything from town, and, and, and even customers are saying we're using the town a lot more, we're more inspired to use it, um, and that's lovely to see.